Food can bring people together in a way nothing else can. This saying comes to life in Tripoli City in Libya. A vibrant summer festival welcomed a cookery competition with traditional and unique dishes from countries such as Italy, Morocco, Turkey and Palestine. The festival also allowed visitors to discover the cultural richness of the culinary arts in the country. Here's a detailed report. Top chefs from various countries showcase their talent at a special global food festival in Tripoli's Old Town. The cooked scrumptious meals and snacks offering locals and visitors the opportunity to sample the best of international cuisine while immersing themselves in a fun-filled festival with friends and family. Cultures manifest themselves through writing, poetry and even cuisine, which is an integral part of a people's identity. Today we'd like to explore different cultures, starting with Indonesian, Moroccan, Turkish loop and then Libyan cuisine. Every chef brought out the best cuisine from their respective home nation. Locals supported them with applause and encouraged them. Palestinian cuisine got a special mention from the locals. We express our solidarity with the Palestinian people and even with a simple gesture, we want to highlight the culture of this beleaguered people. Today, we are celebrating Palestinian cuisine, in particular, the traditional dish, msakhan. The Summer Days Festival was launched last month by Libya's Government of National Unity. It is set to run for two months in the capital. The festival will feature a wide range of cultural, entertainment, artistic and sports activities. Many of the contests and events are being organized for the first time in Libya. The festival brought together youth, children, women, older people and families. We came to the Old Town to attend the Kujina Cuisine Festival. There were a variety of cuisines, including Syrian and Tunisian. Yesterday, we tasted Tunisian cuisine and today, it's the turn of the Palestinian cuisine, with the dish of the day, Isakha. Libya's tourism industry had taken a hit because of insecurity and political instability in the country. After security beef-up, however, tourism is slowly starting to flourish once again. Libyan government authorities expressed hope that similar events will soon take place in cities across Libya, bringing communities together through a celebration of culture and recreation. Bureau report, We on World is One.